Hey, it's She Smells. I have another video here. This video is going to be my recent perfume purchases, the good and the bad. I have um, maybe five or six purchases that I've made and I'm waiting on some more to come in the mail. Oh my goodness, they're taking so long and it's so annoying. I hate when it takes like over a week, two weeks, week and a half just to get <laughs> <laughs> my perfumes but I'm just gonna keep being patient but um I do have a few that came already that I have to share and I'm gonna share if I like them or not if they're gonna be decluttered or not okay this first one is by Latafa and it is Al Finn Al Arabi and apparently this is a classic Latafa perfume um for me it was uh, just an okay. It's just an okay. And here's the box that it came in. So it had a cute box. Um, this one is, I'm not going to say it's bad. It's just okay for me. It is a beast mode perfume for me. Um, it's It's got a nice heavy bottle. But I am still on the fence as to if I'm going to keep it or not. It smells good. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a tester. I have a little tester sheet here and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. Yeah, it's it's beast mode. Like when you wear this, you're only gonna need one or two sprays. I'll go ahead and give you the notes on this one really quickly. Rose, orange, patchouli, sandalwood are the top and middle. And then the base is vanilla raspberry and amber and i went ahead and i blind bought it because the reviews were good and because of the notes uh for me it was the raspberry that stood out the rose because especially the raspberry and the vanilla and amber being in the base i'm like okay when it dries down it's just gonna smell like a sweet raspberry but i don't know i have to play with this a little more because at the top, the main thing that I smell is patchouli. This is a strong, strong patchouli scent. Like, I feel like it's knocking out the rose the or and the orange. It's a good scent. It is a good scent, but I still have to play with it. Maybe I need to use my patience and wait for that patchouli, which is in the middle, to calm down. So, this one is a maybe. I might declutter it. I might keep it. But that again was Alfin Al uh, Arabi Gold, and it's by uh, Latafa. And I got that on Amazon, but it's a beast mode. So if you like beast mode, uh, go for that one. I also wanted to show that I got, uh, I had gotten Diamonds and Rubies by Elizabeth Taylor, and I caught this one on at Burlington. It does smell good. And I'll give you a little information about this one, too. This one, I'm not going to read off the notes because, oh, my goodness, this one had so, so many notes. It was outrageous that I didn't even write them down. But this one on Fragrantica, a lot of people said that it reminded them of Lancome Trezor. So if you like Lancome Trezor, not the rose one, just the original, the Lancome Trezor, then you might like this one. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one because it wasn't a love for me. It's good. Um, I've never smelled Trezor. But I'm going to declutter it. And I'm going to look out because at Burlington and also on Amazon, they have Elizabeth Taylor Diamonds and Emeralds. I'm kind of curious about that one. Uh, it, it's just, I, I just want to try some other ones. I also think they have In Rogue that's supposed to smell like Armani C. So I want to try those because they're such, these ones, these are gems. They, these Elizabeth Taylor ones are very nice quality and then they have them for such a good price. And I guess back in the day when they came out, they were much more expensive than they are now. So it's worth it to look them up on Fragrantica, see what they're compared to. And if you see them, buy them or order them, definitely read the reviews. And I actually like the bottle on these. I like the bottle. I love that it's got this little cut metal that makes it look like there there's actual diamonds. Um, when you take off the top, it looks almost like a perfume mist kind of a top and shape. 
I, I actually like the bottles. Um, so I'm going to be on the lookout. I'm going to get a different one. But yes, this one is said to smell like Trezor. But I'm going to declutter it for me. But if you love Trezor and want to save some money on that, go for that. Okay, the next one is Swiss Arabian Shy Goth Women. And this one, unfortunately, I did not like this one. But I knew I was taking a risk. It's on Amazon for about around 18 bucks right now with free shipping if you're, you know, a Prime member. But for me, it... Now, this one I actually have on my hand right now. I sprayed it probably 15 minutes before doing this video. And it's just not... It's not bad, but I feel like there's better. And the notes in this one are lime, lemon praline apple and peony for the top and the mid so that sounds like it would be so good right but i'm just not getting it and base musk and see the excuse me the base is musk and cedar so i'm just not it's not giving what i expected it, it to give okay it's i thought that there was going to be this this amazing apple peony praline i'm i'm just getting lemon and lime maybe it's the way it's very and it's very light on me it's not heavy i've tried it you know you see my little there's a little dent there i really gave this one a nice try but it's not doing it for me and i'm gonna go ahead and declutter it but it was a blind buy i took a risk um because it was so affordable but nah shag off oud is the one shag off oud is the one so that one's gonna get decluttered okay now let me share these two these two i'm actually happy with um i called around because i wanted to find a perfume another perfume store in my area one that actually sold um arabian middle eastern perfumes okay because i was like getting into a little funk where i'm like oh these blind buys aren't really working for me blah 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 so I called around. There was a really nice guy who answered the phone at one of them. He said, yes, come in. We don't have this, but we do have that. And come on in. And so nice. And I'm a vibe person for sure. So he gave me these positive vibes. So I said, yep, when I'm done running my other errands, I'm coming in. Came in, super nice. Said, oh, you're the lady that was on the phone. Because I started talking to one of his salespeople. He said, oh, you're the lady that was on the phone, right? So he must have recognized my voice or something like that. Because I didn't even say, hey, I'm the lady. So he was so nice. And then it came to this point where it cleared out. And then I was like the only person in there shopping. Which I love. I love. I have anxiety. And I'm one of those people where, you know what, I should be thankful and happy that people kind of follow me. Even when I was at Target yesterday, I noticed, I'm like, look, if I'm looking at something, can you do like, can you do a circle and come back, circle back, please, instead of standing right up? It's anxiety. I just don't like when people just stand right up on me. And it's clear that you weren't even interested in it. I don't know. It's a weird anxiety thing for me. So I was in there by myself, got to just smell, 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 test, test, test. And I even said to him, I said, thank you, sir, for like allowing me to just browse, you know, and not rush me. Because some perfume shops in particular, they're they're very sales, sales, sales. Get what do you want and get going. I've had that vibe at my other perfume shop where you kind of feel in a rush. I tend to go in there and know what I want, but I just know that they have a better price, especially on designer. And I just kind of grab it and go, like, do you have this? How much? Okay, great. Cheaper than at the department stores. I'll get it and go. But this is going to be my new perfume shop. This man even had, he recommended a lot to me. <laughs> but I'm like a perfume collector. So a lot of stuff, I was like, I have that. I have that. I have that. Like, I'm not bragging, but I was like, I have that, sir. But he even had a list in his phone because i was asking him about different ones because they were darn near sold out in latafa in the store but he had a list he has a warehouse that he can if you want something you can call it in or come in and say hey i want this he'll go into his warehouse on a different day i guess and then pull it for you and then the next time you come to the store there's there's the perfume that you're looking for oh my goodness so happy so anyway 
this is what I got. I got the Afnan La Fleur Bouquet and the Armoth Club de Nuit Intense Woman. And I smell, I must have smelled 2,500 perfumes. He had lots of other Arabian brands that I had never heard of before. He had perfume oils. He had it all. He had it all. And when you go to a perfume shop, this was a big shop. And he had ceiling to floor of perfumes. It was, I was in heaven, okay? So anyway, this one, La Fleur, La, La Fleur, La Fleur Bouquet was my first time ever smelling this. Love it. Love it. Look at this bottle. This bottle is amazing. This bottle is beautiful. Look at the top. It's cut up. I love, oh, this bottle is beautiful. It's so beautiful. Can we have a moment for the bottle? This bottle is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let me show you the box on this one too. Even the box was beautiful on this one. And that's why it caught my eye. And it was the last one, but it wasn't out um, in tester mode. It was just in a box. Cause I was browsing so much. I was like kind of nosing around. They had a violet one in this one, in this, um, in this Afnan as well. Let me see. I made a note about that. It was called Violet Bouquet. That one smelled like Baccarat Rouge to me. So that was a no for me. I really don't like Baccarat Rouge as much as everybody else. There's the inside of the box flowers on the inside and then it perfectly fits in there what a beautiful box afnan look at that the just the flowers the presentation is gorgeous on that one love that the scent let me give you let me give you really quickly flowers white flowers fruits citruses musk Base, sweet notes, powdery notes, rose, exotic woods. And that's exactly what it smells like. It is compared to a perfume called Le Fleur Narcotique and also Coach Dreams. The Fleur Narcotique is a $400 plus perfume. I looked it up even on Amazon. It was $420. Bucks. This is the one. The violet one smells like Baccarat Rouge. So I'm not here for that. There are so many Baccarat dupes. But this is, and it smells like nothing I have. Looks like and smells like nothing I have. So I'm going to look more into this Afnan. Um, I'm going to probably look and see what else they have. Then this one, Club Nuit Intense by Armoff. This one, now this one is not blind by worthy. This one, you have to be into heavy oud scents, I would say. This one, they say, smells like Tom Ford Noir, Noir de Noir. 981 agree that that's what that reminds them of. Rose, saffron, geranium, nutmeg, pepper, violet, caraway, which is a spice. I looked it up. Patchouli, vanilla, argar wood, which is oud and amber. Heavy, heavy, heavy hitter. I sprayed it once. It's a beast mode scent. No more than a spray. One spray. I, I kid you not. It was beast mode. And as usual, because, and I hate to always bring him up, but I used my partner. I forced him to spray it, and he was like, oh, goodness, half spray on that. But he said it smells good, and it smells more feminine to him. It is woman. It is, it, it's, it's made for women, but he even said, he said, no, I can't see myself smelling that. This one, I didn't need a tester, okay? I said, this, this is the one, okay? Because this was after I got home, and I was like, do you like this one? He liked it. If you read um, on Fragrantica, this is all over the place with the reviews. This one, Jim, I love this one. So it has the white florals and the flowers. It's, I love that one. I'm so happy about that. So yeah, that's what I got. Oh, let me show you what else I got. And then I'm gonna end this video off. I went to Burlington. They had the Guest Seductive Noir in the lotion. And I told you that this is comparable to Mon Guerlain. And look at that. I left it closed just so I could show. It was only $5.99 for the lotion. So then now I have the set. The dupe for Mon Guerlain. So I have the perfume. And so now that's perfect. I can lotion, layer it. That will make this project and last much longer. So 
that's what I bought. I have maybe two, three more perfumes coming in the mail. They're taking forever, <laughs> but I'll do that one. And I have some more videos too. Go ahead and subscribe to me because I plan on really, really bringing more videos. But um, this is just what I got for now. Um, but I, like I said, I have more coming in the mail. And I also have some perfume oils I might want to share. So sub subscribe and like if you want to. I'll try and link everything below. And like I said, I have been decluttering. Use Mercari. I declutter with Mercari and I at least get back most, if not all of my money. Because um, even if you don't like somebody, like, like a scent, excuse me, somebody else might like it. So don't let stuff get dusty. Or you can re-gift them, but... Um, I, I mean, I'll let somebody smell it and say, hey, do you like that? Do you want that? Yeah. In my family or my friends, then yes, you can have it. But there's just some where you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to resell this. If it's a huge disappointment, just resell it. Somebody else will love it. So thanks for watching. And I'll link, I'll put my Mercari link below too. Make some of your money back. I'm telling you, you can sell clothes, housewares. You can sell darn near anything on there. So use my link, and I think that also when you want to buy something, they're going to give you a credit for signing up. I think like 10 bucks or something. Come on. 10 bucks for free to buy something? Use my link if you want to. I mean, I'm not forcing you, but I've been on Mercari for years, and I enjoy them a lot. Thank you for watching.